Look, I'm just saying if it, if it, if it gets any redder, I'll have it checked next week. No, I got somebody who's knocking. I, oh my. <laughs> What the hell? I thought you were supposed to come back. Why are you here so early? I thought you were supposed to come over later. Uh, You're not recording, are you? No, I'm not. Okay, so that's good. That's good. What are you up to? Um, well, it was you. Remember, you said we were going to. You're set eating up a chocolate about, bar. Well, no, that's just that's, that's just for later. That's my emergency stash. Yes. So. You, we were going to talk about gaming and games, so I just thought I was setting up these things. I was having a, co a conversation with an associate about something. So, mm. yeah, this is Risk, as you all know. And it sort of leads us into, you know, recently I was playing a game with people, and it gets quite personal. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people start playing Monopoly, and they start making deals, and one person makes a deal with the other person, the other person says, that's an unfair deal. And they're like, you're pissing me off. Oh, whatever, mom. It's Don't get all personal about it. It's just a game. It's not real. It's like, you're you're immoral. So Monopoly, I guarantee you, is, is, is such a strong uh, feeling game. That's the way wars get started. So, for example, I had a friend that that was sort of that situation I sort of just mentioned there. They were playing Monopoly at a Christmas dinner. There was a mother, a daughter, and the grandmother. The mother was just just sharking everyone at Monopoly. Were the cops called? <laughs> no, there was, it was, well, it didn't it get can't that be that bad. bad. Well, <laughs> settle down, donkey. <laughs> no, they, uh, basically what happened during the game was uh, the one person was winning and they made a deal with the grandmother who was not as good at the game and didn't really have the same competitive drive and basically made a real shyster deal like you know up according to everyone who you know was there that it was a real bad deal and the grandma didn't care and uh, she's like oh that's a great deal and then, then the mother the daughter of the grandmother said that's a bad deal you're an immoral person it's like oh whatever this is a game and oh and then the other person was like how dare you and then the person that was defending the grandmother the daughter of the grandmother the mother of the daughter who was trying to give the grandma a bad deal she started crying and then it got all dramatic and they started going oh whatever it's just a game and they were basically debating over morals and it was unethical to like <laughs> trick your gr your grandmother and monopoly but it doesn't yeah well, it doesn't have any implications in the real world if you like shyster someone at monopoly i guess the person was worried about one person exploiting the other person and it mm -hmm. hurting that person's feelings but there's no real world uh consequences for for hurting someone it's just like real rough. life you strike when the striking's good yeah exactly They're no not... harm no foul yeah so the, so that's the that's the thing about games me i it's competitive people get very competitive in games. I, I i think that the, the the point of games i mean when it gets too competitive i'm not a big fan of it i like the games that engage you like interactive i just played a new game called apples for apples that was a fun game you pick a topic and then you put down a card that matches what you think of the topic for example you put down rude and in your hand you'll have cards that say charlie sheen ducks mm -hmm. dogs and each of you put down the best closest answer so now i have to figure out okay what does the cameraman indian fabio here think rude would be so i would think well, gino is my yeah. first so spot. if i had a card that said gino <laughs> i would be like yes and then i'd be like got it so exactly because you're trying to get what he says in this game so if i put down gino rude boom yeah. he would pick it up and everyone else would have other stuff like rude like uh you know crying kid on an airplane or uh a barking poodle is rude but trolls uh, trolls yes internet trolls are rude yeah but uh yeah barking dog on an airplane and gino they're very rude and he would pick gino so the, so that was my my take on gaming sometimes you get personal but i i prefer it when he gets when it's fun, right, Jason? Mm -hmm. What's the most? I mean, Indian Fabio. What's the most hilarious story you heard about someone playing a game, or you seen, or or a secondhand account you heard of one, like in like a, something hilarious where people are do they get kind of crazy about oh, it? Like well, when they, people get nuts. So I had I knew, for example, one game I was playing in. I personally thought this was funny. One person was sitting down. And everyone's at the table, and we're all playing. And one person took a call on their cell phone. So the person took a call on the cell phone, and one person said, uh, "Excuse me, uh, 
it's called a portable phone so that's why you you take that elsewhere you're portable the phone is portable take it elsewhere as in portable so the person was like excuse me getting defensive whatever it's gonna be one minute and I was like, well, no, it's, geez, that's a very excellent point. Portable phone, needs of the many, out, need the ways of the one. What are we going to sit here and like yeah. for a minute and a half? I and concur. So anyway, it was like whatever. It resolved itself. It was just one of those things. And then later on, the person who made the portable phone comment was taking a long time at the Apple to Apple game, you know, pondering over their card. You get cards like this, like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then the person that made the cell phone call goes, okay, you can you can take this decision elsewhere. You're a portable human being. Take yourself somewhere else. You're portable. We got a good laugh out of that. I, I, I felt it was coming somewhere along the line. And it, it did come, and uh, I found that very satisfying. And that's kind of, I guess, the whole point of games, once you bring out the dynamic and you have a bit of fun, and yeah. as long as you don't take it too personally, because sometimes you know we're all people. We can it brings out competitive or it brings out hurt feelings. Yeah. So I think I've ranted long enough about that. But thank is you that, for coming is that, in. Oh yeah, no. Is that Troy? Is that story true? Because that sounds unbelievable. I tell you. I, I don't know. Is that even a real story, Gino, or do you just make that up on the spot? I wish I could make up stories like that, but that happened last night. <laughs> that's that's why I want to talk about gaming, but that's pretty much it. So thank you for coming in. And as we as we go out, I want you to watch me pour these things on the table. I'm proud of you. Bye. Bye.